Maybe you only want what you can't have. Hey family, I know I'm all over the place with this video, but I just wanted to come um, bring the camera outside to show you what I got started on before I even picked the camera up. Um, so I'm out here on my patio and um, I was getting ready to set my furniture and stuff back out. Um, I know I got a power wash out here, but I was just going to set everything up on the porch this time and then um, power wash um, after, the, after the fact. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm, I might just use my scrub brushes on the porch this time. Just use the scrub brushes and, um, you know, a big soapy bu a bucket of soapy water and just um, do it like that this time. So I'm going to turn the camera around real quick. Um, so I still have everything, um, you know, tarped up and everything. Um, chairs stacked up and everything. So I just need to blow everything off and just wipe everything down and everything it it didn't do too bad out here besides having to um blow everything you know so it didn't do too bad the carpet i said i wanted to take the carpet up we'll play that by ear when i'm gonna do that because i think i'm going to start off i don't know if i finish the whole summer with the same colors but i'm going to start off with what i already have that i bought in the middle of the summer um but what I am going to do is I'm going to be painting out here. <clears throat> do I want to do it? No. I done got lazy with the projects. But years ago, I painted my porch. I had this porch done, this deck, and I painted it. I don't know if you can see it. The sun is shining so bright. But I painted it blue. Just wait a minute. I got to come to another part over here. Let me see. Oh, it smells so horrible out here. Whew. Um, I painted it blue and everything and the top I painted white I had the front porch done uh, painted the same way but I ended up taking the rails down which I'm gonna put rails back on there but anyways y'all I'm painting all of the blue here it's gonna be black it's all gonna be black you can see now but I'm gonna paint all of this black just take my time I'll let you see a little bit of me getting it done I was gonna go get some more stain because that's that is that's what this is a stain but I'm gonna check in my garage and see if I have any black stain I don't want the ebony or anything I just want jet black I just want it to be black if I can't find any I do have some black paint and out there and I'm gonna just use that so yeah once I get the porch all cleaned up and everything and then scraped up that's gonna be my plan to paint so see that stuff right there it's got to go porch is old I really just want to take the porch down and just redo just have a patio out here but you know everything takes money and takes time so I just have to do what I have to do to make it look nice until I'm able to do that so yeah I just need to paint all the rails all the spindles and everything which will be the longest part and doing this Latisse over there the lattice whatever black so I have to do the inside and the outside so that will be getting done like soon seriously these rails have to be done so depending on how I'm feeling later or um, tomorrow I may get started um, so yeah just wanted to share that with you and y'all my backyard remember when I showed y'all where the tree got cut down at where the tree fell and they came out the city came out and cut down some, they went further back and cut down some trees well since then somebody because I like looking at the forest in the back right back there and um there ain't no leaves on the tree yet. everything just look dead right now but we'll see if anything is gonna grow on them because when I was when the city came out and I tried to what well, the county came out and not the city I tried to have them cut them all down but they said they can't cut trees that's still live which had leaves and stuff on them growing but anyways, somebody brought the property in back of me, which is crazy to, to buy a property with all trees. And then a lady lived, cause I went in the back like, towards the like, towards the end of the summer because I saw the lady um, and her kids out there sitting. And I saw them the day before. So the next day they was out there again. I'm like, 
the way it was looking is like they were setting up a spot to live or whatever. So I was like, let me go check on them and see if they're okay. So I went out there to go ask her if she need help, if she was okay and everything. And she was. What she said was um, that uh, she was just letting me know that she had bought the property. And I was just looking like, who would just buy property with all these doggone trees? It ain't nothing you could do out there. She said the kids want a tree house. We live in Vegas, but they want a tree house. So I decided to buy it. Well, why did you decide to buy the property being back of me? Bye. Like, I was fine. Her way of thing was. And so the next day, she was out there again, had her butt. She was bent down for about 10 minutes. But that I want to say the other word, pointed just, just straight at my house. So I'm standing in the kitchen. I'm looking right out at her. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I ain't doing this. So I'm, my plan is to get my fence put, took all the way back. And years ago, when I had the fence put up, it needed to be painted again. But anyways, when I had the privacy fence put up, I had the privacy fence put up. And then the where my fence is over there, it was, I, okay, it was over here. The fence was over here, closer to the house, next to the house. So I had my backyard. Well, I checked into the property that was next to me, and it was on sale. They sold it to me for three hundred dollars, three fifty or something like that. So I had the people that put my fence up to come and move my fence over. So that's why my yard is is so big. I never thought about going to buy the land in back of me, um, because it's owned by the land county, the land bank, and I never thought about buying it because who just want to buy property with trees? I never thought nobody would just come and do that. But if had I known. Then I would have purchased it. So, you know, I don't want nobody writing back of me. I like my space. But anyways, y'all. <clears throat> just want to share y'all, show y'all um, what the reason why I picked the camera up was. Y'all know my little bench here, little couch, wicker couch. I had painted it that wicker color, um, like wheat color last summer. And I didn't never really care for it when I did it. I didn't really care for it. Um... But I kept it. Um, it this that it was white when I first purchased it a long time ago, and then I painted it orange because I had painted my front door orange. So it had been that color for years. I just touch it up or whatever. But I decided to go with black. I would have went with teal because I y'all know I love teal and turquoise. I love green. I didn't have enough spray paint of either one of those colors because. I would have just put that in the front just to bring out the black but since I didn't find it I said well I had a little bit of black left in three cans and this is how far I got so I sent my son to the store to pick up another can and I'm just gonna spray you know whatever I can with it I'm gonna spray the back right here and I'm not gonna worry about the seat the bottom because it'll have a cushion but if I but I'll get to it if I have enough I just want to get the sides in the back of it you know so yeah, I'm going with black and I just wanted to share that with y'all that I had already got started again. Um, I, I got my bar over there, the one I, I told y'all. Let, let me see if I can zoom in. My red bar, it was hunter green when I first purchased it and I have the tall bar stools to go to it. And I was gonna do the, redo that for years. Um, so I ended up spray painting it red. Um, but the netting is what I was going to redo. But I ended up spraying it red. Because I got tired of the green. Because I had it like that for years. And um, let me turn the camera around. Y'all like, why is you pointing towards that? But I had it like that for years. I, um, the red was really pretty. I like the red on it. And everything. And um, But I didn't get much use of it. I uh, haven't had much use of it or for it in the past couple of years so and it's old it's dated and I would I kept it just for when I have um, family gatherings and stuff for extra seating but I'm done I just I'm I will you know want if I want another one I'll just pop purchase another one I'm gonna put that out having put that out on the street tonight well tomorrow trash is on Wednesday so I got a uh, few things that I want to just put out big things so I know somebody will come and pick it up so but yeah yep I'm just sitting out here trying to figure out the things that I want to do back here um, as far as my getting my porch together and carpet and everything I got to get these back gutter um, this gutter over my deck clean because the water spills through and, and it's messing my carpet it messes the carpet up every year and I have to replace it I'm over it I'm just ready for it to come down. So, I mean, the, you know, get cleaned. So, we working on that too. But yeah, I just wanted to go home and let you know what was going 
going on. Um, so, and what I'll be doing and trying to get started on anyways. Um, I ain't in no big rush, but once I start a project, I do want it to be, you know, I'll be wanting to be done. So, yeah, so I just was getting started out here because I'm getting ready to pull my griddle and stuff from out of the garage so I can have that space, you know, to free up some space in there. And put it back out here and everything and yeah that's about it so all right i just wanted to hop on and just share what's going on in my life got some other things to share with you the wind blew the screen down and it's like okay yeah so yeah i just wanted to share with you what i had going on and yeah in the next few days or so because the weather is decent um in the 60s or whatever and i just want to at least have everything set up so yeah this is what i'll be working on so all right well talk to y'all later okay youtube family so he made it back with the spray paint so i'm getting ready to um go out and finish spraying that sofa the wicker sofa this is the color i was gonna do but i did that before with another set i had sprayed uh, it was all different colors. I had one piece orange, one piece blue, one piece red. Like, it was just colorful. Really, really colorful. It looked cute at that time back then, but I was just like, I don't know if I want to do it. But I, I know I could have made it look right, just the sofa being blue and just sitting on the front porch. But I just said, I'll just keep, do the black, keep it with the neutral, and, you know, I can bring it out with whatever color I decide to go with. I don't know if I'm going to use the same wreath that I have out there that I put back up after I took the Christmas one down. Um, there's nothing wrong with that wreath that I have. It's just all greenery. Um, not for sure. But I just said whatever. It depends on what cushion I find for my seat out there. So, yeah. And we'll just go from there. So, all right. I'm finna go outside. I'll see y'all outside. Hey, YouTube family and friends. Welcome back to my channel. Just being me, Devonese. So, y'all. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. So y'all, I just had to pick this camera up because it's been a while since I picked the camera up, y'all. Um, I know that I told y'all that I was sorry for not commenting and responding back to the comments and everything, and I still apologize because I haven't. And um, I will share with y'all in another video the reason why I haven't, but I, I've been feeling guilty about not even putting up one video. So I'm gonna try to do like a little short video today so I can have something to put up. But uh, yeah, it's, it, it's been a lot going on in my life, in my family, y'all. I'm telling y'all, back to back, it's just been a lot going on. Um, yes, and I know some of y'all said, enjoy my grandbaby. Uh, it's, it's been a lot, I tell you, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Um, I enjoy my grandbaby when I get a chance to see him, but when I say it's been a lot, it was already um, some things going on. It, um, you know, but it's just seemed like it just been things been happening back to back to back to back. So I will share that stuff with y'all um, on another video. But yeah, I just wanted to come on, say hi, hello, y'all. Don't hold it to me, and you know I hope y'all still come back and watch the channel. But I am getting ready to um, style my uh, my um, yeah, it's what you call it, credenza. But I use it as a dresser. Once I move this one out of my living room, I use it as my dresser for now. Um, but I got it decorated and styled right now, so I'm turning the camera around and show y'all what I already done, and then I'm gonna style it again. I don't know if I'm gonna do um, two ways or three, but um, I know for sure I'm, I'm gonna show y'all what I just did, and then I'll um, I'll share at least a, one more style. So let me turn this camera around and get started, y'all. Okay, so this is the first style. Y'all already know how my mirror is. I don't want y'all to be looking all in my room because I didn't make my bed up. I know. But anyhow, I just wanted to share to show y'all this. Um, yeah, so I just have this little white vase that I've been had. Um, I got it from Walmart some years ago. Let's see if the tag on there. Nope, it's not on there. But I don't think I paid no more than $10 for this um, particular white vase. And then this gold vase right here, a little brassy, I got from Burlington. Um, I got this in, from Burlington. Um, I don't know. It's been a while. Um, I think I probably paid. I don't pay that much for this. What is the price on there? Sixteen ninety nine. 
for this this face right here and then these flowers y'all know i've had these flowers these kind of like foam type of flowers i had the, those for some years and then i brought this statue in right here so let me step back so y'all can see because y'all know my room is decorated in black and white and gold and you know i have the green greenery in here to go in blend in with the, my green um comfort so yeah like without putting the whole mirror in i just want to to show y'all what I did so that's style number one so I'm gonna pull up some stuff for style number two and yes the decor yes you have already seen but I haven't been in stores and I told y'all that I'm trying to save money so I'm using what I got to get what I want so okay okay so adding to what's already up here I'm just gonna add this beautiful flower and i know some of y'all might say oh that's too much right there that's just too much but you know it's not a style that, that's probably not gonna, it's a style that's probably not going to stay but i just wanted to share that so and i don't know i kind of like it it's kind of over the top but i, I kind of like it so yeah i don't know i really love this statue right here i like it i really really do so yeah and I had a white one in here and I moved into my living room so alright so let's go with the next step. okay so y'all remember this face that I DIY'd it was brown from Burlington I think it was $8.99 it's kind of heavy too I'm just gonna leave in the statue there I'm just gonna put this face here I don't know what that is I just I don't know I just love that cement like pottery barn look so yeah what I'm doing this time is gonna be is, am I zoomed in yeah what I'm doing this time because I'm holding the camera y'all I'm putting I'm gonna do um all black up here and I had you know this one this um base here I've had that one for some years. Paint is kind of chipping off. I need to paint that. And then I have these vases right here. And I just had this in my living room and I like that look. So I said, well, you know what? I really could use that in my room. You know, how you have so much decor and you just got to find somewhere to put it. I don't want to be, I don't want it to be like too much in here, but kind of I don't know ooh, that's kind of dark right there so I don't know who that's dark that's the walk oh I don't know I don't know let me put this in here and see <laughs> what it what it look like let me see I need to stand that up a little bit oh, hold on so once again I don't know about that one because that's pretty dark pretty dark right there pretty dramatic and I don't want the darkness like that so let's try something else okay so I kept the base up here kept this base here and I think I'm uh, going to um, let me try and put these in Let's see what they look like inside of the black face. Okay, so I got a, I got a couple more of these, but I'm not gonna go and get them. I just wanted to see what these black ones would look like on black on black. So that's that for that. All of the light. It's kind of beaming and so what I'm gonna do is just stick this vase here and then I'm going to put this face here so this is another nice look right here I don't have enough flowers in here but so I'm just gonna kind of 
just slant them out a little bit so that they can just you know yeah just to give you an idea let's say styling my cabinet up at least don't even have to be turned actually 